Hey everyone, how's it all going? I've actually decided I'm gonna start a new series today. This is gonna be the first of a new series called Healthy Takeaway Choices. Now, what I'll do is I'll go through cuisines of different takeaways that a lot of people would often go out and eat, such as Indian, um, Chinese, American, everything like that. And I'll offer lower calorie and lower fat content choices for these cuisines, and also how to spot the lower calorie choices to make it easier to fit into your diet and to make sure that you don't add a lot of extra calories calories when eating out or getting takeaways. Firstly, the beauty of takeaways when you bring them home is it's a lot easier to figure out how many calories are in each because what you can do is just grab your set of scales and weigh your takeaways on the scales. Then when you know the weight, you can compare it to foods and cuisines of similar types from other major takeaway restaurant chains, such as Chinese, you can use Noodle Box. Mexican foods, you can use things like Mad Mex or Guzman Y Gomez for their nutritional information on their websites. And you can compare it to that, which does make it a lot easier but when you're eating out and you're eating at a restaurant or at a takeaway store, some of these tips will definitely come in handy. On to the first cuisine choice of this series and we're gonna make it Chinese. So Chinese can be quite a lean cuisine. There's a lot of vegetables involved, a lot of steamed dishes, but there are also a lot of stir fry dishes and dishes that are heavy in oils and satay sauces and fats that can be often very high in calorie and very high in fat. Chinese cuisine is actually one of the most favored of the Australian takeaway cuisines as well, which I figured is perfect to start off with this for this series. Now, when it comes to entrees for Chinese, your best bet for lower calorie and lower fat options are to go with things like soups and broths. So you've got a great one for Chinese is wonton soup. So that soup is in a broth and it has wontons and it is great, very filling. Broth is also very good for you, very healthy and a great choice for a starter dish as well as other soups. Other good choices if you not into soups is to go with something steamed like a steamed dumpling or steamed vegetables also steamed dim sims which is what I've picked up today steamed dim sims to enjoy for my Chinese takeout tonight. Now you'll sort of find that these are only for a dumpling or a dim sim between 80 and 120 calories each, which is very reasonable for what it is. And it also eliminates a lot of the fat due to it being steamed and not stir fried or deep fried. Now when it comes to mains, you're gonna find that a lot of beef, a lot of pork, and a lot of duck dishes are a lot higher in fats and calories than ones such as chicken or seafood such as shrimp and also vegetable dishes. Now mains such as sweet and sour, so sweet and sour chicken and pork, anything that's based with sautés or nuts and also anything that is stir fried or deep fried is gonna be a lot higher in calories and so your best bet is to try and avoid those when eating out. Now your best bet to eat out with your mains are gonna be anything with steamed vegetables or anything with steamed meats such as chicken and shrimp and anything that is heavily vegetable based. It uses a lot less oils than stir frying and with the steamed vegetables, it also holds a lot of nutritional value that can be lost in the stir fry option. Also to go with Chinese dishes that are cooked in a wine mixture or a broth are great as well because they eliminate a lot of those added fats through the creamy oils such as in a satay or in the sweet and sour chicken, you got a lot of added carbohydrates through sugars. Now noodle dishes such as lo mein or Singapore noodles, I've actually picked up some Singapore noodles tonight. They are a lot higher in calories because they are very noodle dense. There are a lot of noodles in the dishes. So your best bet is to go for, there's one called Buddha's Delight and it's very, it's a lot lower in calories because there are a lot less noodles, but incorporates other vegetables to bulk it out a lot more. So it means less noodles, more vegetables, but it still feels as if you're eating a noodles dish. We actually also picked up some Szechuan vegetables, quite a salty, a little bit hot vegetables, but obviously because it's just pretty much all vegetables and sauce and the Szechuan sauce, sauce is a good choice. It's a lot lower in calories than if you were to opt for a traditional stir fry. Now when it comes to condiments, avoid anything that is like a fried rice or a special rice. In the fried rice process, there is a lot of oils added, which again, increases the calorie content of the food. And also condiments such as sweet chili sauce and hoisin sauce or any chili oils and sesame oils also contain a lot more fats, a lot more carbohydrates, and a lot of extra calories that you wouldn't think you'd be getting in just because it's something as simple as a condiment. So your best 
bet is to opt for a sauce such as oyster sauce. Soy sauce, even though it's a lot higher in salt, you'll need a lot less of it. It has a lot less calories and a lot less fats, and in turn, it will mean a lot less calories consumed. Another great choice is to use a chili sauce such as sriracha or chili flakes, because not only are these known as a metabolism booster, they're great for you, they're great for clearing up your cold throat, and they've also been known to slow down your eating because of the heat, and therefore making you feel fuller quicker, which might mean that you might eat less of the meal that you purchased. Comes to the most important meal of the day, dessert. Although the Chinese aren't known for their desserts, hit up a fortune cookie. They're only about 30 or 40 calories, and you might get a good fortune out of it at the end of the night. There you go, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the first episode of this insight into healthy takeaway choices. Hopefully this has helped some of you guys out when it comes to eating out at a Chinese restaurant. If you want a cuisine covered, chuck a comment in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try and look into it and create a new video for the series from it. Be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also be sure to follow me on my main social media accounts at Snapchat and Instagram, Lewis underscore eats. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Again, hope you've all enjoyed this first edition to the series, Healthy Takeaway Choices, and I'll see you on my next video.